Buongiorno, buongiorno, buongiorno. <laughs> nice yellow wellies. Fancied yourself as a salty sea dog, didn't you? <laughs> Look at them beauties. Mm -mm. Fish Nicholas, how's it feel to be the only one that hasn't caught so far then? <laughs> well, I knew I should have gone on my left. <laughs> That'll happen. <laughs> Looks 21 dead to me. 21 kilos dead. How many pounds? 46. It's the first morning. We started yesterday afternoon. And yeah, first 40 on the bank, 46 pounds, 4 ounces. Caught. Nice common. Caught on a solid bag with some hybrid mix and a little fake maize, yellow, yellow fake maize, balanced, very nice, showing the English how to do it. If the tail up slightly, point the tail towards me ever so slightly, that's it. Solid bag again. Solid bag, yeah. They're all going to have to change the solid bags because nothing off the method, nothing off the shore. How does it feel, Pete? It was very big. <laughs> I was been holding out there for quite a while as well, which is uh, quite exciting. very big. Pardon? This net pole is very big. <laughs> <laughs> what you got on there? Um, what do you mean? Bait. Bait. Tiny little 10 mil cell pop up. Ah. Of a size 4 hook. What is it, the crew. white or a pink one? It's a white one, yeah. Ah, it's a white one. Did someone tell you to use white baits? Somebody did. Somebody, Somebody did. Dickie bird. Uh, Oh. Oh. Is that your buzzer then, was it? No, it was a bleep. I'll, I'll go this way because I have the sun. Yeah. That's better. What rods are you using there? Um, <laughs> you nicked them of me. <laughs> this guy was looking at them. 
he's having a right good look at the name and he can work it out when I speak in English. He has a big belly. Good fish. Hey. Yes! Oh. <laughs> result! Come all the way to Italy for her. Huh? Yeah, result. Result! Oh, yeah. There's a big fish. He's a big fish. How you feel? Ecstatic, actually. I was, I was quite nervous during the fight of that. You always know when you, uh, yeah, you always know when you pick up a rod when it's a big fish. Yeah, you you feel the weight the and weight, yeah, slow. slow yeah. yeah. You know what this means, like Nicholas. What does this mean? I want to see Peter's stick mix. <laughs> <laughs> Seen it? Yeah. Yeah, just under 52.4. 52.2, I would say. 52.2. 24.6. 23.6. Yeah, get get on your knees. Yeah. That's it. That's the shot. So what you had that on? On a little 10 mil white mainline pop up. A little cell pop up. Vai con lui, vai, vai con lui. Ah, ok. Yeah, wow. And Antonio comes with you in the yeah. video, no? <laughs> Want to do the other side? Yeah. That's it. Pete, are you happy? The start <laughs> is ok? Yeah, very happy. Very <laughs> one more. Many other places, it's a bit the biggest fish in the lake. Hey, it's not yes. the biggest fish here. <laughs> Other 30 kilos, and it's the biggest. <laughs> yeah, we have to do stills now. Ignorant wellies. He wants to go. Pound two. I think it's a PB common, you know. I've had a 52 before. Maybe two ounces. Okay. Off he goes. PB common. Last one. <laughs> On the first day. Thank you so, very much, guys. Cheers Feeling. Slow.
back. Good. Well done. First Italian fish bell. First of many, hopefully. <laughs> what do you reckon, Nicholas? Get 40. It's long fish. Uh, I would say it's 48. Forty-eight and a half. Well done, Bill. Tail up a little bit. Lovely. Go. 55.9 of Italian common. PB as well. Out of this little bay behind me. Lovely fish. Epic fight as well. Good. Big smile on this camera. Fifty-five pound common. Doesn't even fit in the sling. Yeah. It's been a productive session so far, just two nights in. It's uh, Tuesday morning, we arrived Sunday afternoon. Yeah, the scores now are one fish for me, 21.6 kilos, uh, 46, 47 pounds approximately. Then uh, Darren, who is sharing swim one with me, had two fish last night. Okay, no, one fish last night, one fish this morning. He had a 48 and a half uh, common and a new PB 55 uh, 9 ounce. Um, just absolutely shocked by the size of the fish. You know, um, we're not used to it in the UK, but over here when they're catching sort of 15, 20 kilo fish regular, and then when you start hitting sort of 25 kilos, which Bella's caught. It starts to become really interesting. I had one at 52 pound, and I actually struggled with it, struggling to lift it up. So um, heaven knows what it will be like if you caught a, a 60, 70, or possibly an 80 in here in a minute. Um, but no, it's a great venue. Um, it's classic this time of year, where it seems to have gone really spelly. Uh, the the area that I'm fishing, or most of the lake, really. As soon as it starts getting dark, you start hearing a first two or three fish rolling and then like two hours into dark you can just really hear them boshing but no really enjoying it I've got into the rhythm now um, wasn't too difficult to fly over buying the uh, extra luggage bags um, managed to hire a couple of bits here as well like bed chair and stuff like that so didn't have to bring the real big bulk items but 
Um, definitely in the rhythm now. Solid bag seems to be a very effective way. Nicholas said that before we come out here, but I just bought a full armory because that's how I'm used to fishing. I like to have all my little bits ready to go, but what he said has um, definitely been working. Uh, and I've tended to find that um, quite small solid bags with a tiny little eight mil cell or hybrid white pop up in there, with quite a big hook. So it's literally just a short hook link. As soon as they suck it in, there's no way really of it coming out. And so, uh, yeah, no preparing everything. I've got some solid bags already made up. I've just showered and freshened up. And my plan today really is to go back to my swim in a little while and put my rods out um, in the afternoon and then leave my swim quiet. So classic thing, everyone starts spawning and spodding and using throwing sticks, casting leads about just on dark. Um, and that's the time when the fish seem like they're just starting to show and feed. So I'm gonna get them all ready on that this afternoon and then sit quiet in my swim and hopefully let a few fish come in. So I'll catch up with you soon and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a monster to show you because they're in here. Bello, eh? Ma stiamo con mio, go. Tu lo tuccerai mai usato? Sì. Fish number two for me. 48 pounds on the button, taken again on the solid bag approach, seems to be working well with just a small uh, slow sinking plastic cone and the all important Banoffi cell stick mix and this is the result. So it's getting overcast tonight and it's definitely warmer than yesterday and we hope to catch a few more. It's definitely gone more carpy the weather, so I think we're gonna have a few tonight. to off a very long torpedo mirror as you can see I've taken my jacket off I'm down to my jumper it's a very very carpy evening this evening this fish rolled it out there I've seen a little bit of bubbling before dark and hopefully we're gonna catch this one's bigger brother what a torpedo of a fish That torpedo. Come on, I'm one happy guy. Bambino in the net. Not such a bambino. Yeah, it's good bambino. It's a teenager. It's a grower. Thank you very much. So number three for me. 49-12. Well pleased with that one as well. Again on the solid bags. Doing the business for me. Selling Banoffi again. And uh, yeah, fish definitely seem to have moved towards us tonight. Don't know if it's the overcast weather or the don't know something has changed and kickstarted them really. So let's get this one back and catch. Oh, how does it feel, Pete? Big, very powerful. I think it's a, another long fish. A 
They're certainly testing the gear, which is nice. You like them other rods, Pete? Yeah. Sturgeon. It might well be. <coughs> it's too it fast well runs, ain't it? Not yeah. the big plodder, is it? No. It might well be a sturgeon. So I'm still on. I wouldn't mind one. Nice. Right. <laughs> Will he ever stop? Do you think it's a sturgeon? Yeah. Maybe. Lost a bit of look at that. Could be. I'm giving it. I'm giving it plenty of gym. <coughs> oh, I saw it come up and it looked quite long further out. Probably the cobra. The cobra? No. Yours are getting bigger, Nicholas. That's yeah. three forties in. Yeah, three big forties. Three saying, over forty-five. I was just saying, up there. My, the smallest was forty-seven something. Between this, the smallest has been forty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> We've had forty-seven, two forty-eight, forty-nine, and fifty-five. Not too bad. You've seen the fish, Pete? Yeah. What is it? It's a long mirror, by the looks of it. Very similar to the one I caught earlier. His bigger brother? His bigger brother, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just 50 pounds, really, of pure muscle. That's like these solid fish. No wonder it put up such a good fight. The great thing about these kind of fish is they really test your gear. You really sort of, um, when you're playing the fish up the margin and it's taking line like it's going off like a train, you know you've got your, you know you've got to have your knots perfect and everything sorted. So, right. Pumpkin and nutmeg, that's the flavour, is it? <laughs> no, pumpkin and, and walnut, sorry. Walnut? Yeah, the, you know, the nut, the nut with the big shell. Is that yeah. a walnut? Yeah. as a team to try and break it up, don't they? I've seen one now. Like. What, the back of my bait there, yeah? Yeah, you know, actually, I let him have a few fish and I didn't have a rod anymore. Yeah. I thought it would be kind. Let him have a little go. <laughs> it's bad. Parker del Brenta Bambino. Not what we're used to. But still very clean fish. 
bang on 30 pounds. Very nice. This is double trouble at Parco del Brenda. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Pete, Pete had one, and then his other rod roared off. So I took this rod. It's yeah. far too easy here in the aquarium swim. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the preparation, Nicholas. It's all in the preparation. Yeah, we were all lumming and ahhing whether it was uh, wiping out the other line, and then I looked up and could see it was going totally a different direction. I like these rods. Get one of these. Nicholas's highest 12 foot 6, 3 and a quarter. Oh, a nice bend. <laughs> Can you make a statement to the governor? To the governor. Um, Should have been here. Should have been here, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> you were invited. No, he wasn't actually. He was actually. I said to him at the time. He was actually, yeah. yeah I said, did, did he want I to said go? we had enough swims, you know, for all, so. Even Hutch, Hutch turned it down and he's been texting today as well. And Nicholas has already stated that the people that come and supported him on the initial trip <laughs> would always be invited and the people that turn him down would never be. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the Pete way Castle, Paco del Brenta. Yes. 2014. Signing out. I'm also going to lose my job. <laughs> Couple of lovely... Uh, Park at the Brent of condoms. Condoms? <laughs> <laughs> Couple of lovely Park at the Brent of commons. <laughs> so Hello, Pete. You alright? Yes, uh, you're changing your tactics slightly for these mm. wary carp. No, not really. Um, just a stick. It's actually the same mix I put in the solid bags, just in the stick with um, uh, just a, kind of a snowman, it's not really a snowman, it's just a few trimmed down baits, bot, uh, bottom bait and a pop-up, it's, uh, it's Banoffi high impact and cell pop-ups. And uh, I'm trying that new cog lead out, give it a go. It's very nice because when you pick it up, it's, you pick it up from the heaviest point, or from the from its center of gravity. That's what it's called. It's interesting. Let us see if it brings an extra fish on the bank. Cracking 46 pound common, and this is number 12 for me. Um, absolutely cracking fight. I shouldn't be disappointed. It's 46 because it's a massive fish, but. I must admit, I thought this one was a lot bigger out in the lake. It was really holding its ground. It's quite a solid fish. Really starting to get through them. Now, hopefully, one of us will get a, an absolute monster to show you in this uh, little video. If we don't, then it's going to be a fantastic week anyway. But if we do, then, then it's going to be a nice surprise. Right, let's get this one back in. It's a lovely dark common. It really has been a fantastic week. Uh, the catching of fish at night has been difficult. It's been difficult to get up and get on the rods. You know, you could be fast asleep and the rods roaring off again. Um, having said that, the takes have just been absolute blitzers from the start. Every single one of them. I haven't had a sort of single bleep and the line picking up. Even when I've been fishing slackish lines, it's just been one tone. I've had my receiver in the bivvy down here and it's just been like, bah! some two fish last night. I could hear the reel as loud as I could the the um, buzzer you know because it was just screaming off that loud um, but we've had a fantastic time and my tactic has been to wade for as many fish as I can hoping that a big fish will come along I mean I've had two fifties and um, quite a few upper forties mid forties and I'm more than happy you know but there are some very big fish in here hope you've enjoyed watching 
and we've enjoyed playing about with the camcorders at night and um, filming this for you guys and it hasn't been a hassle at all to travel over here if anything you know we we got up early in the morning from England um, traveled in and, and you could be fishing by lunchtime you know it's some some of the places I've driven to in France where you're driving for most of the day anyway catch up with you soon hope you're enjoying the free spirit videos and um, good luck good luck out there guys